Have scientists actually found an answer to autism? Studies claiming that Tylenol use can cause autism often fail to account for the role of genetic factors in causing autism. But one study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association last year found that accounting for the likelihood that one's siblings develop autism erases the link between Tylenol use and autism. Several other sibling controlled studies have made similar warnings about most correlational research on the Tylenol autism link. So in other words, Tylenol use is only associated with autism when researchers ignore or cannot measure genetic factors. HHS deliberately chose to ignore heritable factors in this announcement. It's probably not that surprising that they reached the conclusion that they ultimately did. And there's another really important point to consider here. Tylenol is a fever reducer and fevers carry their own risks to pregnant people and their babies. In fact, there's even some correlational research, so again, please treat it with a grain of salt, to suggest that experiencing fever early on in pregnancy may be associated with autism spectrum disorder, a risk that may increase with the number of fevers that pregnant people experience. So where does this leave us? Experts agree that there's no one cause of autism, and I think we need to be upfront about that. But that means it's pretty unlikely that we've found an answer to autism. There's a lot we don't know. But without making an effort to account for potential genetic causes of autism, it's really hard to believe the claims made in Monday's press conference.